Welcome back to another video. So today we are in a completely different city because today I'm going to show you what to eat in Cebu. So a lot of you might not know this but my mom is from Cebu. So we come here pretty often and today I'm going to bring you guys uh, to eat some of the favorite hotspots that we usually go to when we come here because the food here is really so nice and it's also so affordable. So come along! Laksa is like my family's favorite food so I feature a lot of laksas in my videos also but because it's also like a really staple food when you come to Malaysia especially Sarawak so I'm going to show you guys um, what is inside and how it tastes like Hey guys, the noodles are here and as you can tell we have the so many prawns it's, um, it's quite small but there's a lot of it so I guess it balances it out and then we also have some shredded chicken and some delicious noodles and before we reach the hearty broth yeah, look at all this goodness okay let's give it a taste test so Let's try to get everything into one spoon. Your noodles. You're really, really generous with the noodles. From the footage, I think you can see that the auntie was really, really just topping it off with a lot of noodles. Okay, so you gotta get all the prawns, the shredded chicken. I think shredded chicken is more common nowadays in laksa because the one I featured in my cooking video, they have like proper chicken breast meat and that's really rare so I guess chicken shredded chicken is also fine so and let me get the inner some internal organs let's give it a taste it's just me because I'm, I'm not a fan of internal organs it's a bit too mushy for my liking it's like once it goes into your mouth everything disintegrates so it just becomes this like powdery texture in your mouth which which isn't a quiet taste up maybe you'll like it maybe you won't you can just come and give it a shot yourself okay now we're gonna try the noodles and the prawn let's give it a try It's really really yummy It's like I won't say that I'm a big fan of laksa as I mentioned in my previous video But this is something that I can finish a whole bowl and you know feel pretty satisfied about so I think that this is not bad There isn't a huge difference between gochujang and sibu laksa Personally speaking. Okay guys, so I forgot to squeeze the lime in Lime is an essential in laksa because you want to have that sour quang that cuts through the very gelat taste from the laksa itself okay. okay okay I must say the proportion of noodles to soup is a bit off because she really gave a lot of noodles like look at this and it's only one spoonful adding the lime really makes a difference it's so much nicer personally I really like sour stuff so adding the lime really is just a 100% for me. I would give this a 4 out of 5. Taste wise, it's really yummy. Portion size is out of this world. This can feed two people, no problem. Mm. What I would prefer, I 
guess the innards can be a bit, um, can put some people off. Like, if you don't like it, you may not like this wall move because of the internal organs. But you can just ask her to remove it so it's perfectly fine. Uh, 4 out of 5 because um, I don't know the price yet, but I think it's around like 5 ringgit, 550 ish. So it's really affordable for the portion size, it's really yummy. And this has a hint of nostalgia flavor because I've been coming here since I was 8 or 9. This is really a staple in our city diet. Okay guys, so what's really great about this place is that there's a market at the first floor and then the hawker center is on the top floor. So you can buy all your groceries here and then go up and eat. And you know at the side of the second floor, at the edge of the second floor, they also sell a lot of clothes. Maybe for your mom and your aunties, maybe not for yourself, but the clothes there are, <laughs> are not cheap also, they are not cheap compared to like, even if you go shopping malls, they can, shopping mall clothes can be cheaper. So I guess this is like your one stop shop to buy groceries, to eat and to shop for clothes for your mom. Yeah. So we've come to our second location here. And when you come to Cebu, you must, must, must eat the mango. It's this uh, like uh, rice cake dish with a clear soup. I'll show you guys the footage later. But before that, I have a special guest with me. Hi. Intro yourself. I'm Joey. I'm Clarissa's second sister. Second elder sister. Yeah, so she's senior me too. Yes. And she's studying? Dentistry. And? <laughs> What's Malaysia? Yeah! <laughs> okay, alright, so let me show you guys how the soup is actually like from the top. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like. It looks a bit like kueh chap. Like the, the rice dish noodle itself, it looks like kueh chap, but the texture is a bit different. It's less chewy, so it's like once you bite into it, it breaks immediately. And you also have um, black fungus. These meatballs, I think it's fish balls actually, and they make it themselves, so it's really, really like, it's not like your processed fish ball. And some chives, and yeah, some cuttlefish here also, cuttlefish. Yeah, these orange things are cuttlefish. Okay, taste test time. Okay guys, let's try it out. <gasps> My spoon. Okay, so this is also a very, it's like a childhood dish for me because we always come here whenever we come see Boo. Say hello to my younger sister. Hi, I'm the youngest videos also. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Lowina. Lowina? I think none of my friends are watching this. They better be. Okay, let's give it a try. It's just as nice as I remember it. It's like a bit salty and also they give you like pepper bottles so you can add how much pepper like to your own preference so you can make it extra peppery and if you think it's not salty enough they also give you bottles of soy sauce for you to add some saltiness and umami to it. So this one is really tasty though. Mm -hmm. And it's not the kind of tasty where you know it's MSG. It's like tasty because there's really stuff inside that contributes to the flavor itself. What do you think, Josh? I think it's really good. The last time I came, it wasn't that good, but today it's really good. So this shop has been here for the longest time. 50 years? I'm not sure, as well as the uncle itself. Yeah. And you get to eat cuttlefish, and cuttlefish is very rare to find these in like normal noodle dishes. The fish ball is just okay, it's not the super bouncy type. Because it's handmade, so you won't expect that kind of texture from a normal fish ball that you buy from the supermarket. It's like more dense, but I think it's like, it's a bit more hao liao la. It's like you know that it's real material that you make this fish ball itself just flour from the factory, you know? So how they make this, um, so how they make this rice cake dish, right, is they already have the paste ready, like the white 
sticky paste. Baso. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Batter. The batter ready, and then he, um, the uncle just drizzles it over the surface of the pan, so it's a very thin layer. And once it's hot, you can just scrape it off to get this very thin layer of kue or like rice noodle ish. Yeah. There's not as much sing way in a kueh chup because kueh chup you put a lot of inner like the intestines and all that and some people may not like it mm -hmm. and there's not there's no meat inside it's really just the fish ball itself like that's the only protein inside yeah it's like white and clear kueh chup mm -hmm. okay. so it's like I'm just a mangu and she's the kueh chup look at the color contrast okay don't put it in there. rating time your food rating is 5 Okay. Rate it out of 5. Take into account taste, affordability, consistency. I'm ready. Mm. You say yours and I oh, say mine. Oh, we don't say it together. We will say it together. Okay. Let me think first. It's not that hard. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. four. Oh. <laughs> Some sister psychic connection there. Okay, justify your choice. Mm. I gave it four because it's good, but there's still room for improvement. Mm, I feel like Fashion there can be more <laughs> condiments. Is it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To this bowl. Okay, your turn. I gave it four because it's really, really yummy. It's like um, a very iconic Cebu dish, but one mark is lost because. Um, I feel like there's not much contrast in flavor. Once you start eating, every bite is going to be the same from then on. Mm -hmm. So you may get sick of it very easily. And if your appetite isn't as big as ours, which it likely is not, one bowl you can serve two people, like no problem, if you've eaten breakfast in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this bowl is quite starchy, I would say. So if you don't like starchy food, I don't recommend you to come here because this whole bowl is full of starch. So if you're on a no-carb diet, don't try this. It's all carbs. The food they give you is really sincere because every bit of your rice noodle is different. Just everything is handmade. Like he literally drizzles it in front of you, cooks it in front of you, and scrapes it in front of you. So everything you get is from the stove right to your bowl. Hey guys, quick amendment. The noodles is only 5 ringgit. Super super worth it with cuttlefish and homemade fish balls. Okay, but I think my star still remains at 4 out of 5. <laughs> mine, mine too. Yeah, so try it out yourself and let me know what you think. Because when you come to Cebu, you must 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 eat gambwa. Yep. And where we are today is this place called Feitian Gambwa. So uh, allegedly, the it's called Best Harvest Gambwa. Best Harvest Cafe. Best Harvest Cafe. Okay, so we're eating at Best Harvest Cafe, who is famous for their Feitian Gambwa. So it's called Feitian because um, like the chef, he does a lot of tricks when he cooks. So let me show you guys what the noodles look like. Okay, so as you can tell, there's this chili sauce. And this chili sauce has uh, chili and soy sauce, that's why there's a combination here. And normally people add it over. Okay, I just add a little bit because I don't really like it sweet. Then you have these kind of noodles. It's not like your kolomi, it's straighter. Um, but taste-wise, it's similar to kolomi. And then you have your pork slices and some spring onions. Okay, let's give it a taste test. Mm. Okay, so for those of you who haven't tried gambwa, it is this noodle dish that is like really really famous um, from like the Fujiao cuisine. Get my hair out of the way. Okay, first time trying. This is really my first time trying. Mm. They 
that dark soy sauce, that's why it's black. Um, taste wise, it's just like any other kampua I feel. A bit on the sweeter side compared to more savory kampua. Um, for those of you who don't know, the texture of this is really nice. There's a nice bite to it. It's a bit different from your bak chow mee. I feel like bak chow mee, the noodles are a bit better. This one, they're, they're really, really skinny and chewy. Okay, not chewy. There's a bite to it. Let's try the meat. I think this is their rendition of a cha <laughs> Not the red honey root. <laughs> Something that came out of my mouth. <laughs> Not the red kind you usually see on color me. This is like it's like barbecue-ish. Looks a bit dry. Let's try it. Ratings time. I'm gonna bring in my special guest for the ratings. People say we look like this. You be the judge. Okay, rating time. This one out of five, I will give it four. I think it's really, really yummy. Maybe I'll change my ratings up, rating after I know of the price. But I think if this is around like four ringgit, I think it's four ringgit. I think it's pretty reasonable. Really, really yummy. Um, slightly above average for a normal kampua. And the environment is really clean and very airy, so it's not very hot like your usual coffee jam if you get you're like confined within the walls of like the coffee jam shop itself. Lola, what do you think? It's like every other gum ball. Okay, okay guys, so big reveal. One bowl is only three ringgit and fifty cents. Like where you find this kind of quality at this price? So for me, my 4 out of 5 is a solid one. It's a high 4 out of 5. So much quality, such a reasonable price and it's super yummy. And it's like, ooh. And it's like, every time she tosses it up, she catches it. So it's 100% success springy rate. Noodles. Super springy, not only in the noodles bite, but also in how it flies. Okay, enjoy your rating. Oh, I, okay, I give it 4 out of 5. Because I think that it's slightly above average but it's not the best. I feel like there can be more taste to it. Like, you know, the chart smell. That's true. Yeah, like, there's no like contrast in the taste. And like, the char siu is really... It's like, just slightly better than your cardboard char siu because yeah. it's tender. But you don't get any of the like, caramelized taste to that at all. So it's really a basic char siu. Uh, good noodles and stellar performance. 350. You be the judge of that. Okay, guys, so that's all for today's video. I hope you guys try out the recommendations that I've shown you guys and hope you guys like it too. So if you like this video, drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye!